guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Um, obviously, you can test my match review from Man United this Sunday, just gone. Um, anyway, guys, you know what to do subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's talk. Um, I just basically want to put my opinion on what Man United fans have been saying. Um, I remember TV companies and you know radios talk about Man United and not giving Brighton the credit for beating United twice in three months. I uh, add to that. Um, one or two uh, comments uh, has got me, you know, thinking about what they've been calling us. Um, one was saying we're a Powerland team. Um, another one was saying if they had their normal team, they'd be uh, spending uh, errors, parts of size 6 7 nil. Um, if they spent all these millions of pounds, they would you know, basically done the same thing. But one thing I don't get with that is you got Paul Pogba out there, he cost you 90 million. You got Marcus Rashford out there, he's a England semi finalist, World Cup 2018. You had De Gea out there, you had um, you had Fred, you had Fellaini come off, come on, sorry. You had uh, Mata, uh, you had Lukaku. The list is endless. Um, I thought we thoroughly deserved the three points. Um, obviously we've got to see uh, Martin Montoya play uh, his first ever game for the Albion. Looks pretty tasty to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's just got me baffled a bit. Um, I thought we thoroughly deserved the three points. Uh, obviously, I don't usually upload anything like this, but you know, it's got me a bit baffled. If you do want to see more episodes like this, match with you, where I talk about the match and go over the match, put it in the comments below and I'll do more in the future. But 3-1, um, the part I have been doing is stick, I'll hold my hands up to that. Um, Glenn Murray, quite a sneaky goal. Um, and then we had uh, and then we had uh, Shane Duffy's goal, uh, his first ever goal in the Premier League, well done Shane for that. Uh, and then we, and then United uh, equal, uh, scored one, sorry, uh, Lukaku, free header, we've got to go careful of that uh, Brighton in this league. We've got caught out last season quite a lot, um, and that only possibly be our downfall, but hopefully that gets sorted out very soon. Um, and then we had the penalty, uh, pass on Gross, uh, just got it in after bouncing off the Harry's leg. Uh, and then they scored their late penalty, which I've seen it again. And decisions like that, that's why I'm such a big fan of VAR. Now, I know a lot of you probably watch this are going, it disrupts the game. It uh, the, the atmosphere and all that but I'm a big fan of it purely because of what happened to be honest I think that uh, Fellaini went over a bit too easy uh, I don't even think Shane touched him to be honest you might disagree if you do please put in the comments below but this is why I'm such a big fan of VAR um, now for you that uh, don't know for example, when we play Southampton in the EFL Cup, we will be VAR in operation. Um, it was announced uh, not long after that the Premier League clubs turned it down. That they are going to use it in all EFL games that are played at Premier League stadiums. So if you're a Premier League club, uh, you will be using VAR in the EFL Cup. Um, but I'm looking forward to actually going to that game and seeing it myself, not actually being 
at home or you know something like that um so guys i'll just give you a quick update of what's coming up this week uh you'll have my brighton liverpool uh match uh match preview forgot forgotten the word there uh match preview on thursday planning to upload nothing on the friday uh that could change but at the minute i'm not planning anything there'll be nothing on this channel on saturday but I will be going to Liverpool and that match vlog will be uploaded on Sunday um, and then Monday it will be a double upload of being my uh, week 4 prediction of the Premier League um, I will bring the EFL Cup in but only when all the rest of the Premier League teams are in it so that will possibly be the next round um, and then you'll have my Brighton Southampton match preview for the EFL Cup on the Monday as well uh, and then Tuesday I'll be go I will be going to Brighton Southampton EFL Cup match uh, and the match vlog will be uploaded on the Wednesday um, you know I'm trying to make my channel more busier it is going to get more busier so to make sure you don't miss out on stuff make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell um, because this channel I'm going to try and make it more busy and hopefully it won't even go down in the summer there'll still be uploads coming but guys this is my match review um, I'm happy with the result uh, as I said I'm off to Liverpool on Saturday but guys anyway I just thought I'd give you my quick opinion on how Man United have called us Little Old Brighton as well um, yeah, again, that's frustrating me. Okay, we had spent in this window, but only Chris United haven't, for whatever reason. There's no need to blame it and then go, oh, if we did this, then, you know, we would have done that. United, we've done you twice in two seasons down here. We've done Arsenal down here. We drew Tottenham. Don't think you're going to come down here and get an easy ride. That's for any Premier League club, by the way. Um, we've done West Ham, you know, only because, yeah, we've had our troubles in the past. That's well behind us now. We're, we're moving on with the club. We're trusting in our chairman. We're trusting in our manager. So, you know, give us some credit. Um, so if that hurts your fans United, but you know, you have got to give us some credit because it takes two teams to play football. You had 11 men out there, we had 11 men, and um, basically we just played better football. Um, but anyway guys, this is the end of the video. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, put in the comments below and I'll do this every week as well. As I said, I'm like the channel more busy, so I'm happy to do it. But guys, anyway, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and ciao for now.